Hello, it's Gail again and it's drawing time, it's our drawing tutorial. So this week it's getting closer to Christmas and I thought we'd bring some cheer um, to some of these mundane days that we're having lately. And we're going to have a look at drawing holly. So each week from now I'm going to pick um, a sort of Christmassy type theme or winter theme, it can not be Christmas there, and show you how to draw it. So I'm going to start off. I've just got two pencils this time, so you'll need um, HB and a shading pencil. I have got a 3H just in case I need a finer point, to be honest, and an eraser. So to look at the actual outline, we're going to look at negative space, negative and positive space this week, which means uh, there are going to be some white parts which are not shaped naturally at all of the leaf. So if we look at, let's put my glasses on. Hope you're all well, by the way. I'm going to pick um, the one, the traditional one that has the three leaves. And I'm going to start by just giving myself a centre. Okay. And the berries, remember when I told you about drawing the circles, if you use your armitage, um, so just rest your arm, you'll find it a lot easier. And draw the whole circle. And but faintly, and then you can rub it out. That way, you know you've got the right shape. That was a bit confusing at first, but then you'll you'll see what I mean. And then we'll have some on the outer as well. Maybe one there. I do like sets of five for some reason. So then we don't need that overlapping bit there, and we don't need actually we'll not have that bit there. So you can see the ones I'm keeping. Make sure you can see there. There's that. I'm just darkening it now so you can see it. That one's set back. They're not exactly the same size because the berries aren't. They don't have to be exactly around here either. That one, and then we'll have that one that comes just over a little bit over there. So now for our leaves. Now we're going to have our centre point of where the actual berries are coming from. So I'm going to put a point there so I know that my holly leaves are going to come to this centre. So the first thing I need to do is give myself a guideline. So I'm going to one leaf going in that direction. I'm going to one leaf going in this direction. And one leaf in that direction. Just so it's nicely balanced. Now I'm going to keep the, the centre of this leaf. And I'm just going to bring a bit of a curve. Just a slight curve. So I know where my curve's going because I've done the length of it. So I want it to curve in the centre there. Taper out a little. Draw that there. And again with this leaf, so I've got the straight line there. So if you just start curving it downwards and back to the centre, gives it a natural curve in the leaf. And then, again, the same, let's curve it down on that one there. We can add an extra berry as well. We'll see later. So now, how does the holly leaf, how do you draw the holly leaf? It's obviously wider at this end and it comes to a point at this end. So it depends how you find it easy to draw. Now, I like to start with a point. Okay, put my point in each side and then it goes back up in itself. So you get like a a tick, like a sort of a flick, a flick, but it goes outwards as you come down. Okay, a little wider, a little wider. So you come down, then it goes back up to its centre. 
same with this one don't have to be very symmetrical because they're not these leaves and back into the center same with this one if you find a bit of a skinnier one if you want to do it this way just the same Click, click up, go back in, click, go back in. Okay, I'm going to turn this now just to make sure I'm liking the direction of this leaf. I want it to bend over slightly, don't I? I'm going to do this one, one side, the other. I'm just going to check to see if I like how it's fell. So if you look there, that, that leaf to me needs to come out more there. I'm just going to roll to that. I'm going to roll to that there as well. And then I'm just going to recheck it and see what I think. needs even more I'd say so. Do it again. So you know it's live. You it also know that when you're fidgeting around with things, it's gonna be right. But I'm more happy with that now. So that's a bit you're gonna do. You're gonna you're going to get the proportions right, get your subject matter, how you like it. So berries, look at the proportion of the leaves. And I'm going to add another berry. Watch our berry there. So look at that now. Oh, there we go. That looks much better. I think we'll have a tinier one. We do have quite a lot of berries. Just a tinier one. I don't know if that's a word, is it? Yeah, it is actually. A smaller one. Smaller one there. That's nicely balanced now. Okay, so that's your first part of your drawing tutorial. You're going to find the center, draw your berries, put the lines in next. Yeah, your three lines, so you know where you're going to place them. The next stage, draw the actual leaf on there. When we come back, we're going to look at negative and positive space where we're going to put some shade in him and leave some part of it white as well. Okay, doc, see you soon. So, our next part what we're going to look at is our berries and the points of our holly. So, first of all, look at the points of our holly. I'm going to um, just lengthen. Part of these points. I don't know if you've ever picked Holly up. It's so sharp. But they end up having like a bit of a twist. So we're just putting, see how I'm just putting these little twists on the end of that just to make it a little bit more realistic. A little twist on there. Slightly erase those ends. 
And that's your next stage on the three leaves or how, how many leaves you've got. Just two. Go around a little bit and just lengthen those. And curve, put the curve in there. So they're quite spiny. I'm going to do the same on the other two. When it comes to the berries, if you think about where the centre of your berry is, so for example, put a, a little dot where your berry is. Where the centre is, you know, like in, in an apple core, you've got the centre or an orange on all, most of these fruits. And then you don't have to be precise with the little star that's in the middle. If you just create a little star of your own, just give that impression. You can see there and how that takes the eye into the way, it gives you that in, impression of the, where the berry is sitting quite nicely. And then you can, if I get a, which one got three out? And then just then, this is called pointillism. It's a form of, of, of stippling where you actually just repeat the process of these dots on the fruit, on the berry. It gives a nice little example of how you can use um, mark making. What you'd also find is in the centre of the berry, this area, just get a shading pencil. go would be dark be naturally dark because there'd be no light getting in there those areas would naturally be darker back to your stippling so that's your next stage, creating your points on your leaves and your stippling. Remember to leave the parts of your page white, you want positive and negative space here, you work on certain areas and leave negative space to work with you. Okay, I'm going to carry on with this for another another 50 minutes or so. See you soon. So part three is to then put the veins on it within the leaf. But this example here and that's just a very um, very black and white plain um, one there. So I'm going to attempt now just to, you see there I've doubled the line up and then if you just Go towards the point, not all the way. So I'm going up there. If you start here, you've got one some here as well. And that would go off as you go down towards this. I'm just gently putting those in. And then once you like them, say I don't like that bit there, I'm going to take that one out, take that, take that one out. Once you're happy with them, faintly, you can then draw them in from the actual stem. I'm sure you can see that. Go with this one. This is quite delicate to do. Bit of a steady hand because you want to go right, you want to go fine right towards the shape of where the water would feed the leaf. Again with this one. Can you do this on all of them? Just click on that up a little bit now, you know what you're doing. Same with there, there, and there. And you would do the same on the other two leaves. And then once those are in place, you could then work on your shading. So I'm going to get a shading pencil. And again, I'm only shading certain aspects of this. So 
I'm going to do a sort of a scrumbling. And I'm not going to touch where the actual veins are in the leaf, that's staying white. But I'm running alongside these just to emphasise them slightly. <coughs> Excuse me. So in parts, that's up to you, you can decide where you want to emphasise and where you want your shading to be. So I'm going to have some on the outside of the leaves. Maybe more towards the top of the leaf. And again, I'm not doing in between the veins. Certain aspects of it just to bring a gentle, delicate type of shadow in there, and grain for the leaves. I'm going to do that on my other two leaves and then we'll see where we're at. I think that should be more or less it then. And we'll exaggerate it again as well. Okay, see you soon for part four. So we're on to our last stage now. Got one leaf complete there. I've done all the spikes on the end, the sharp points, and I've done the veins throughout the leaves. So all I'm going to do now is what I've shown before. I'm just going to put a little natural bit of shading in there, and just loosely making marks, making shadows. I'm not going into where the the stem is because I want that to stay white. You can also, when, when you've got this in place, you can even do a little bit of, um, what's that, 3H? A little bit of pointillism on the end there. A bit more mark making. I'm trying to create a natural light and shade in this. I realize they're I can't say it because it's spitting my words out. Therapeutic doing this. I'm sure you'll enjoy this one. Carry on bit by bit. You can work longer on this, you can really refine if you want to. Get to the end there. quiet in there tonight. Remember to turn my music down, you'd be glad to hear my classical music. Because I've been pointers in, a stipple in. Pointillism is when you get the very precise dots in the you know in the same space you Aboriginal art, you see a lot of pointillism. Surat, an artist. Stippling is the same repeated pattern. You can do cross hatching that stippling, do it over and over and over again. I'm going to leave this at this, I think. 
Okay, I just lost lyrics. There we go. Your first hobby. Enjoy. See you next time. Bye now.